An alarming number of longtime tenured professors are being pushed out of anthropology departments and the biological sciences. In 2022, Professor Joseph Hansen was forced out of the anthropology department at UCLA. Hansen was an evolutionary scientist specializing in primate behavior. He was forced to resign for speaking out against politically correct speech codes and non-merit-based student advancement. Hansen, I've been tenured since 2000 at UCLA. For decades, anthropology has notoriously been driven by conflict between scientific and politically activist factions, but militant faculty recruited even more extremely militant graduate students. Continuing, one colleague told a meeting of the biological anthropology subfield that he regarded the GRE as the most informative part of an applicant's dossier. But we had to vote to stop requiring it because otherwise we would be regarded as racist. Hansen cited other anthropology professors recently forced to resign, including professors Peter Boghossian, Joshua Katz, and Bo Weingart. As the New York Times reported, Professor Katz was forced to resign because he wrote an article in Quillette, an online journal that criticized anti-racist proposals by Princeton faculty, students, and staff. Quote, I am both angry and heartbroken, which is a dreadful combination, end quote, he told the Times. Bo Weingar was fired from Marietta College for appearing on podcasts discussing race realism, such as Edward Dutton's popular Jolly Heretic show. St. Edmunds College professor and Cambridge University researcher Noah Carl was fired in 2018 for having attended a conference where race and IQ was discussed. 586 academics signed a letter condemning his views. He has also been criticized for conducting research showing high immigration rates correlate with higher incidence of crime. Carl was even accused of being a neo-Nazi. He describes his views as moderate libertarian. After a two-year fight, Carl got a settlement from Cambridge for an undisclosed amount. Anti-Western Civilization Subspecies July 2019, quote, the key predictor of being a country that is wealthy and civilized is national IQ. Continuing, if America wants to stay Western, it must favor Western immigration. Those who disagree do not want America to stay Western, end quote. Penn State law professor Amy Wax was sacked in 2019 from remarks she made on a panel discussion at an Edmund Burke Society conference. According to the Daily Pennsylvanian, Wax said, America would be better off if it were dominated numerically by Western people and argued for a cultural distance approach to immigration that preserved the United States as a Western and first world nation. Josh Hammer, a conservative editor at Newsweek, tweeted out at the time, quote, it seems to me that Wax's main premise is a cultural one, that the United States is a Western country that reasonably should want to maintain a Western culture. Explicitly anti-white. MinnesotaDaily.com, February 2024. Many see woke as an aggressive political agenda attempting to make them feel guilty for being white. One prime example of anti-white bias, Google's new AI. AOL, February 2024. The search giant said it plans to relaunch its Gemini AI image generator after some users on social media showed how prompts for historical images of people generated inaccurate results in what critics called anti-white bias. And now this ultra-woke, anti-white bias is completely taking over anthropology departments at colleges and universities. 
A recent survey from business professor Mitchell Langbart of Brooklyn College found that nationwide liberals outnumbered self-described conservative professors by a ratio of 48.5 to 1. College Fix 2020. Among disciplines, anthropology is most aggressively partisan, with professor registrations favoring Democrats by a 42.2 to 1 ratio. Professor Rebecca Ackerman, University of Cape Town, South Africa, quote, Human evolution is traditionally told as a story of white male exploration and discovery, white men who are associated with important fossil discoveries in the country. Continuing, quote, they are also engaged in colonial racist science, end quote. Professor Lauren Schroeder of the University of Toronto Anthropology Department recently criticized her white male colleagues. Interview, sciencenews.org, 2023. As a black African woman, it was such a lonely place for a long time. Quote, paleoanthropology is so white, end quote. Quote, as Doris Day sang, the future's not ours to see. But it's a good bet that the grip of woke orthodoxy on the University of California and most other U.S. universities will tighten in the years to come. End quote. Joseph Hansen, retired UCLA professor of anthropology. Thanks for watching. And please be sure to visit our website for right-wing paleoanthropology, subspecies.com.